Hey guys, so I'm here out in front of Pure Bliss about to go in and get ready for my derma planning facial, which I'm excited to experience for my first time and also to answer some of your questions and concerns that you may have in reference to a derma planning facial. I know that I have a fear of my hair growing back um, thicker and coarser, which I will get those answered. Um, once I get in and I meet up with Lindsay who will be doing my facial um, she always does my threading so I'm looking forward to have her do my derma planning for my first time also I'm um, excited to experience a facial because it's another way to make yourself feel beautiful going to begin with cleansing your face, taking off all the impurities and the makeup if you had any on. And what dermaplaning is, is it's an anti-aging treatment that removes the dead skin cells from the surface of the skin and it's a manual exfoliation, meaning there's no peels or chemicals or anything involved, no acids. So it's just removing the top layers of the skin and it's also creating micro channels that go down through the skin through to the dermis which is the deepest layer and it stimulates collagen production so it's going to help smooth out lines wrinkles and make it look more youthful so a bonus of it is that it removes the peach fuzz the hair that's on the skin so it does not grow back thicker, darker, coarser, anything like that. The only thing that changes the texture of the hair is hormonal changes within the body. So when you get waxed or get lasered or anything like that, you're removing the hair directly from the follicle. So sometimes it will grow, grow back thinner or not at all. So that's why if you're like getting waxes a lot and sometimes you see that it's growing back less and less, that's because some of the follicles have just decided it's not going to grow a new hair in there. But essentially dermaplaning is just cutting off the hair at the surface. Okay. So now I'm just examining your skin. Now do you do anything to remove the hair on your upper lip at the moment? Yes. What are you doing for that? Um, tweezing. Okay. I am, before I start dermaplaning, going to tweeze those little coarse ones. Whenever there's a coarse one, I recommend tweezing or threading that one because that one will grow back faster. Okay.
So for dermaplaning, I use a 22 inch scalpel. So I remove it from the sealed container and I use it with a handle that I keep in my sanitizer. And I'll start on this side and I hold the skin taut and then just lightly And that little snowflake looking, I guess, substance mm -hmm. <laughs> is the dead skin. But the really cool thing about it is your makeup looks so much better on because you don't have that layer of dead skin and peach fuzz that you can see in the light sometimes. Mm -hmm. And it helps all of your products, your skincare products, to um, absorb deeper into the skin. Now, do you recommend any specific products that offer this? Um, anything that I would say uses like hyaluronic acid, um, vitamin C is very good for hydration. Um, I mean, there's a lot of different product lines out there now. Okay. Just stay away from anything with like parabens, sulfates. And anything that's going to over dry your skin, like I wouldn't use anything like too harsh, like a astringent or anything with alcohol in it or even people that use like salicylic acids and benzoyl peroxides for acne, that's really good, but you have to make sure that you keep the skin also hydrated. Okay. I'm going to put a really nice hydrating mask on you today, though. Okay. How does the dermaplaning feel? Um, it feels like uh, there's a little 
metal piece just scraping across my skin. But you don't feel any it's pain? It's not too painful, no, it's not. It's definitely not like threading or waxing. How is it different from shaving? So it's going deeper than shaving. So when you shave, it's just going over the surface of the skin. And when you shave, it's not exfoliating like dead skin. Mm -hmm. So dermaplaning was actually made to remove dead skin. So it really is an anti-aging treatment. It's just a, like a positive side effect that it takes the hair off with it. So it's probably not like the first choice of hair removals, your only concern, but absolutely I think that it's better for the skin than threading or waxing. You'll just have to do it more often mm -hmm. as far as just like a hair removal. oxygen serum just to do a little massage into your skin because this has squalene and ozonated olive oil in it that's like deeply hydrating mm -hmm. and calming so I definitely want to introduce that moisture back into your skin because it's extremely dry and dehydrated right now. skin back into balance. Absolutely.
questions you have for me? As far as your skin or dermaplaning or... What is different from dermaplaning besides, um, like, compared to other facials that you guys offer? So, another example of manual exfoliation would be microdermabrasion. So microdermabrasion also buffs off that top layer of dead skin, but it does it in a suction form, and it does it with like these aluminum crystals that are really good for your skin, but it kind of like gently but sandpaper like buffs off the dead skin. Mm -hmm. It doesn't affect the hair, so that would be another manual exfoliation. Another example... An example of chemical exfoliation would be a peel. And it's not necessarily when we say chemical exfoliation, it doesn't mean we use chemicals. It just means that's a difference in skincare from manual exfoliation, which would be like a scrub, to chemical exfoliation, which is like a glycolic or an acid or some sort that's going to, um, you know, eliminate the dead skin that way. Okay. And which one would you highly recommend overall? I mean, they're both, they're both excellent. I take it by a case-by-case -case basis. Would you recommend a specific kind for, like, different skin types, or...? Yeah. So, for sensitive rosacea skin, I recommend dermaplaning, because all skin types can use it and it doesn't irritate, whereas microdermabrasion is good for everybody but sensitive rosacea because the suction, and this could tingle for a second, okay? Okay. It's actually a botanical hydrating mask, but it does have some active ingredients, so it's a little tingly, stingly at first. Um, so for sensitive rosacea skin or like thin skin, like mature thin skin, I don't recommend doing anything that has a suction because it can make little like um, like broken blood vessels and break capillaries on delicate skin. Mm -hmm. So um, any skin type can do peels. It just depends on like which acids. I mean, there's like thousands of different acids, lactic acid, glycolic acid, salicylic acid, all those different ones. So depending on your skin type, I would recommend that. Now, for you, we could do both, so or all three, really. So, um, what I would recommend, I love that we did dermaplaning today, but if you wanted to in the future, you could do, I mean, we call it here at Pure Bliss, we call it the wrinkle eraser facial, but really it's for like a lot of different things other than wrinkles, like different concerns other than wrinkles. So, uh, anyway, so that does the microdermabrasion and the dermaplaning in one facial. So it's just giving you like a really deep exfoliation. working this mask into your skin. And what type of products do you guys use? Are they natural products or? They are. So um, all of our products are natural, but or natural base, but um, Skin Fitness and Emergency are two that are lab based as well, meaning that it's science and nature. So we use like the acids like retinols, vitamin C, glycolic, all of those, but there's no harmful chemicals. Now we also use Eminence Organics, which is of course natural and organic. And we also, from Emergency, they have like a sub line that's called Emergency Organics and that's our all natural organic line as well. 
but nothing that we carry here, even Skin Fitness, even though it's made in a lab, is gonna be anything like harmful or toxic or have like parabens or sulfates or anything in them. from Skin Fitness, the EGF serum. It means epidermal growth factor. It has protein and amino acids, so it's rapidly gonna strengthen and heal your skin. It's really good for like post-inflammatory, like since you're kind of like clearing up, it's gonna help to heal that rapidly. it with a couple drops of the oxygen serum that I used earlier because it's super hydrating, it has squalene. very calming. It has chamomile. It has hyaluronic acid for the hydration. And then lastly, I'm going to use from Emergency the SPF 30 Lightweight Daytime Moisturizer because sunscreen every single day, even if it's rainy, even if you live in Alaska, it doesn't matter. You're always, every time that you're outside, getting UV radiation on your face and then your whole body. So your best anti-aging product that you have is your sunscreen. Okay, so guys, I just got done my first dermaplaning facial and it felt amazing and very informational. Lindsay definitely informed me of everything that I had questions about and that you guys possibly could have questions about. So I look forward to having you guys watch this video and I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching. Bye.